what is up? Welcome to another grocery haul. Oh. <laughs> Finally. Yes. I feel like it's been forever since we've done a grocery haul because it has been forever. And it's been so busy that we didn't even get a chance to go shopping for this stuff. No, it's been so busy. It's been so hot here that I did not feel like going out, you guys, and doing all of the shopping myself. So we paid for the convenience and we did Instacart and uh, we had somebody else shop at Costco for us. So, Serious. <laughs> which I was so grateful for. Sometimes I like to treat myself a little bit and do it that way because then we can just beat the heat. Don't have to worry about it. Honestly, it saves a lot of stress to yeah. be honest. So anyways, we are going to go through every single item that we got at Costco and a lot of this stuff is mainly like our essentials that we usually go and pick up every time we go to Costco. And it's summer so a lot of this stuff's kind of like grab and heat up for the kids. You yeah. Know, there's some to make sandwiches things like that but really during the summer kids are like grab and go do you even know what we got no <laughs> thanks for thanks, I like, how do you thanks even know for, what we got danny was at work when i ordered all the food so this is all a surprise a, a lot of the things. stuff we got was like grab and go <laughs> I think that's just the normal stuff we use. Am I wrong though? You're not wrong. That's right. We did stock up on some produce, which you guys, I go to the store multiple times during the week to get produce because we go through so much of it and the food prep has been awesome. Yeah. So, which we will probably do over here on this channel too coming up, some sort of food prep video. Yeah, I think it would be cool. And we brought it up before. I think it'd be cool if Tina figured out what she would want to prep for like the meals for the week and give you guys a heads up. And then you guys, we could do a live meal prep. Just talk to you while she's doing the meal Prepping prep. It. I think that would be real That cool. would be so fun. It'd be like we're doing it with friends. I would love that. Comment down below if you guys would be interested in doing the live food prep. That'd be awesome. Okay, so you guys, let's get started. I will show you everything we got, starting with the Olive Garden dressing. Ooh. Because we just ran out. I used actually a lot of this for the food prep chicken that I just did. So always have to stock up on the Olive Garden dressing. Even if we have some here, usually every time we go, I grab another one just so it's always on hand, always on stock. Then of course, cheese. We got some, whoa. Wow. Calm down, cheese. <laughs> Wanted to cheese, escape. calm down. Cheddar Jack cheese. We got the two bags comes together. So there's Amberlin those. Amberlin loves, Amberlin will literally Stick her hand in there and take a handful. Don't act like you don't do it. Me? Yeah. Uh, every once in a while. <laughs> I do it mainly when I'm making nachos. I, I'll like put it on the, on the and chips. And then he'll grab an extra. And then I'll grab an extra one. Yeah, so we go through a lot of cheese, you guys. We use a lot of it for cooking and things like that. The so. challenge is, can you take like a little pinch or a handful and put it in your mouth without any of them dropping? That's the challenge? That's the challenge. Can you do it? I sure I could. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What? <laughs> I don't like to eat straight cheese like that. It's not my favorite. So that you're just scared that you'll drop it. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> so next up, sour cream. I always like to stock up on the sour cream at Costco because it's just, it lasts us forever for cooking, dip, would, different things. Would you dip popcorn in sour cream? I don't know, would Ooh, I? Ooh, I think we should try in our popcorn. Yes, we have not filmed our popcorn Taste, taste test, test. Com food combination food combination thing so you guys in the comments leave some ideas of what you guys mix your popcorn with so there's that then of course we got some tortinas we got the fresca tortina uncooked tortinas <laughs> Ooh, those are so, so good. good you guys the best we talk about rage about these all the time they're honestly the best i think those are the best ones more than any other ones more than the tortina land yes, yes. yeah they're really good I honestly, I don't notice a difference in the taste between the two. They both taste so like really good to me. I like the packaging better. Yeah. <laughs> the packaging nuts. Got's Danny. We also got some honey crisp apples, Ooh. which they look pretty good, you guys. Yeah. They look decent. That's always like the big concern when you have somebody else shop for you. It's like, all right, are we gonna get decent produce? I feel like Costco for the most part has decent produce. Like you can't really go too wrong. There have been times where we're like, oh, these apples don't look good or these strawberries don't look good. I feel like they do that on purpose so people don't get their hands all over them. Oh, I'm sure look. they do. Yeah, that's the first time I've really seen that. Yeah, they could probably put them in bags too and it would be fine. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. It comes with what, eight? Eight apples in there. Not too shabby dabby. Okay, then the rotisserie chicken, infamous. You guys know we always have to get this every single time we go. We like to put these like on our Hawaiian rolls and salads, different things like that. Uh, did I already show the burritos? No. The burritos, the infamous steak, shredded steak.
steak and cheese burritos. The best the microwavable best. burritos you them. will ever find. They're really good. And I don't eat frozen burritos normally. These are really good. And I say this almost every time, but I get a flashback every time we get these burritos, you show these, uh -huh. I get a flashback of a little league baseball game going to the concession stand okay. and getting the burritos. They would always have these ones? Yeah, the, oh. that's how they taste. And then that's okay. when I realized they probably went to like- Costco. At, well, at that time it was probably called Price Club. Oh. Comment down below if you remember when Price it Club. was Price Club. And I bet you that's what they got. And it just reminds Wait, me- Wait, remember when what was Price Club? Like it was either Costco Sam, Sam's or, or Costco was Price Club. Oh, it was really? it was like a bulk store, yeah. Oh, I've never even heard of that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we got the burritos <laughs> for memory's sake. All right, next up, Danny's favorite oh cucumbers. My gosh. Three long English cucumbers. I always think of Wolverine when you show those. <laughs> <laughs> or Freddy. <laughs> <Cr> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You guys, I love these. Danny is not a fan. Danny doesn't eat cucumbers anyway, so it doesn't really matter what Danny likes. Whoa! <laughs> you don't eat them! This is all Costco has, so... Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, there's I can picture you going to, like, look for a car. You're like, sorry, this is all they had. I've got to get this. Okay, cucumbers and car, I'm going to say, are a little bit uh. different. Bacon! We love their Kirkland brand fully cooked bacon. Yes. Easy. Delicious. That's all I gotta say. Surprise, you only got one. Well, yeah, I was on a budget. Oh, so. yeah. We literally go through those like, not cheap. like no other. Yeah, the kids love these, you guys. And it's just like a quick, they can throw it in the microwave. I can just heat it up on a pan real quick. Just super simple. There's those. Then we got some big thing of strawberries, which these actually look pretty decent. Not too shabby. You so, guys, what has been going on with the Driscoll strawberries lately? Every they time, were at Vaughn's the other day. Yeah, but every time we pick them up, they're like, the 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 bad batch yeah they're not as good yeah i don't know why kind of sad what's going on but i did just buy some at vons the other day during for the food prep that Ooh, was the strawberries those we had. did look good so those were decent those okay, were decent okay ones. i just think it's like time of season anytime you order online you guys you might have to recheck the size because these are some major <laughs> hot dogs <laughs> these are huge wow these what? are huge what kind of buns did you get for those i didn't get any because we already have some oh my well we'll use two for one yeah <laughs> <laughs> I did not know. These are quarter pound beef franks. There you go. Wow, those will be fun That's, to make. <laughs> yeah, they will. Okay, so there's those. And then what else did we get? The avocados. You guys know I love from... Ooh, these ones are actually pretty ripe already. Avocados. Yes. Comes with six okay. in here. So I'll probably do some guacamole or something delicious with those. Ooh. Because we also have limes, which... I love getting this, these big, huge bags of limes because we go through lime like crazy. Kids love them on their cucumbers. That's, that's it. basically it. <laughs> that's basically it. But they that's eat a lot so... of lime for three cucumbers. Yeah, they go through them though. We go through this. Uh. Why are you laughing? How many cucumbers did you get? Well, we have more in the fridge. And then we buy them all the time during the week. If I would have got two packs of cucumbers from Costco, you would have been like, Oh my gosh! Why did you buy two packs? It's like buying a car! <laughs> so I'll go to the store later and get the regular cucumbers oh. so we can use up all this lime. <laughs> I promise you though, I swear, we go through this. They will be gone. Watch. I'm sure they will. They will. Within the year. <laughs> they will be gone, trust me. Okay, and then we got some mini watermelons. I actually like to get the smaller ones because they tend to be, like, we tend to have better luck with them. Okay. Because the bigger ones are like, they have been disappointing almost every single time. So I just grabbed these ones. I think they're easier to chop up. And yeah, I don't know about these cantaloupes, you guys. I'm kind of like, oh. They're look. like squishy. It's not even squishy. It's just got like black spots on it. Uh, I don't know if that matters. It's like a banana that has black spots. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it just means it's super ripe. It could be dirt. I don't know. But we got cantaloupe, so we'll see how good it tastes. Hey, and then we got some more eggs because we are going through the hard boiled eggs like crazy. crazy. We did that for meal prep and honestly, it's Emberlin. Me and Emberlin, but Emberlin yeah. just like grabs, she's like eats these like crazy, which I'm totally fine with. So we grabbed some more eggs. We still have some in the fridge, but I wanted to get a whole nother one so that we had some for 
hard boiled eggs also. And if you guys haven't seen our vlog where we got Tina was doing the meal prep with Emberlin, we're gonna be doing a lot of the meal prep here. We might show some here, bits and pieces in vlogs. Yeah. But like that was such good quality time. It was really cool. Cause Emberlin loved it. Yeah, she loved it. She loved that we got to spend the whole day together in the kitchen. She helped me just, she's so good already at like chopping things up, washing things, like getting just all those habits. She's really good at it. So it actually really does help me. You know how like sometimes you have kids in the kitchen and you're like, okay, you gotta breathe. It's almost more work. Yeah, it's almost more work. But with Emberlin, like she literally, it helps me. She knows like exactly what she's, cause she's been in the kitchen with me for so many years that it just, it's its very helpful. So. It's not like if I was next to you. Yes. <laughs> That's scary. That's a scary thought. <laughs> Pop-Tarts, you guys, Ooh. Ashlyn loves these. And Costco does not always have these, and they have them. So I grab them for her for a quick, like, in the morning if she wants to grab and go. So. Yeah, and I'm surprised they have, like, literally 32 of one flavor. 32, I know. It's That's usually, interesting, like, right? combined. And strawberry's her favorite. So I feel like last time these went so fast that when we got them, she loves these. Yeah, and so. for all of you foodies who don't normally watch a lot of our vlogs, head on over to our vlog channel. You guys will get updated on Ashton, who's been totally kicking butt. Kicking butt, butt with work, you guys. She works a lot, but Danny and I were just talking. She <laughs> loves it. Like, <laughs> loves working. So, and I love that she loves working. I yeah. think a lot of it is like the atmosphere <laughs> that she works in is has been really awesome. Yeah, so. you guys, sorry if the dogs bark a little bit. The gardeners are like out <laughs> around cleaning up, and so. The dog's are getting a little excited. So yeah. we're gonna go through this as the best we can uh, with Benny kind of a uh, little chirping he's in the background. He's just saying hi. He's yeah. Like, hi, he's just right here. He's actually saying hi, but holding it back because he knows we're gonna tell him to stop. <laughs> Next up, we got some cheese. its Just a delicious little snack that everybody loves. Especially Ashlyn. Especially Ashlyn. But you know, cheese to Emily. me, like, I look at the box, I'm like, oh no, I don't really want it. But They're then so like, addictive. if I go and grab, a couple? You're not stopping. No. You're not stopping. <laughs> no. You're just going to continue grabbing. Yeah. They're so addicting. Seriously. I agree. And I think Cheez-Its should be added to the Munchies mix. Ooh. That would be good. That would be a good addition. Yes. Okay. We'll talk to Munchies and see what we can do. <laughs> or we could just go to Winco and make our own. That's true. That is true. Okay. Also, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You guys know. C -c -c -cinnamon. cinnamon which they don't have that big old picture of them on this one, but. So, comes with two big bags of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in this bad boy, so there's that. Then we got two gallons of milk, you guys, Ooh, which is wow. like, it's just how it came. So, we're gonna have to be cooking a lot because we don't really drink a lot of milk. You know, I personally think cereal, a bowl of cereal is a good late night snack. So I'm probably gonna have that more often. I think, yeah, you and Ashlyn really love that. Yeah. So I got, I just got two, so we'll see. Um, okay, then I got the Kirkland brand of the ground beef. Usually I'll pick up that five pack that's frozen. Mm -hmm. They don't have that online. They've never had that online. I can never find it. So I needed more meat, so we grabbed this. this that's is like, like some thick, thick. Yeah. This is like two pounds or something. Wow. So, I know. So we'll see how that Wait, is. Wait, two pounds each or two pounds total? Total. Oh. Actually, it's more than that. It's 1.34 pounds each. Oh, okay. So you're so, looking at 3.9. Yeah. So that's actually kind of it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, <laughs> then we got Grandma Sigmore oh, bread, which we haven't guys. had in a I long feel time. We have not had bread forever. We just have not had time to go to the store. We have not had, well, I, I feel like I go to the store like at least once a week. I just, we just don't film it. So got some bread, you guys, for sandwiches, different things. We got some King's Hawaiian rolls for the kids that eat these plain. You the guys, rotisserie doesn't matter. sliders rotisserie too. Rotisserie sliders, that's probably what's for dinner tonight, honestly. So Ooh, okay. there's that. And then we got the Kirkland brand of the tortellini Ooh, pasta. Elijah loves that. Elijah loves this. I make my homemade Alfredo sauce with this. Carter guy's just looking at me right now. Hey, we film for a living. <laughs> He's probably like, what are they doing? <laughs> so, okay, so there's that. He's like, why is my husband standing there watching? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. This just got awkward. <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> Okay, wow. Funny. He left. Oh, okay. <laughs> he laughed? He laughed. Oh. <laughs> but we made eye contact. Oh. That's why it was weird. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a spa treatment right now because the 
The steam from oh, the dishwasher. Nice exfoliation. I know. Okay. Okay. I also grabbed, grab, I grabbed these six pepperoni, six four cheese pizzas. These are really good, you guys. Yeah, I actually was, really like these. Yeah, even on the box, it looks perfectly cooked. Like you've got yes. to put them in the oven. They're the so best good. in the oven yes. for sure, for sure. So got those, then got some Ritz crackers. Good little snack, kids love those. You guys know I like my Ritz on my Trader Joe's mac and cheese, which we will be getting coming up yes. this week. We're doing a Trader Joe's haul coming up, you guys, because it's been forever since we've been to Trader Joe's. Yes. So. Okay, and then also some graham crackers. Kids have been eating these like crazy too, so another thing the milk is good for is these. Then we also got some chips. You guys know we always have to grab these chips. Ooh, and the original classic mix box at Costco has 54 bags, you guys. Yeah, it's a this lot. This is like, I think one of the, one box that has like the most chips in, in it. In them, yes. yeah, and it's the most expensive box. Oh, I did notice okay. that online today, so. Anyways, you guys know the drill. What are we picking today? Which Ooh. chip are you feeling? All right, you ready? <laughs> yes. Count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Classic. No. Dang. <laughs> wow. You guys, classic Lay's are so good. Boring. In a sandwich. Oh, in a or sandwich. Or in a burger. Or dipped into cottage cheese. <laughs> oh, or in a burger mixed with uh, fried egg. That's the best burger. Wow. Chips, fried egg, best burger you'll ever have. You can also put classic chips in your ramen noodles to give it a little crunch. Wow. And then, let's see, last but not least, you guys, we just got the waters, a pack of waters. 42 or 40 waters. Yeah, we already had, we still have chicken left over from the last Costco haul, so there was a lot of things that we still do have that we didn't need to get this time, which kind of helps with the pricing. So you guys, that is it. That is everything we got from Costco. We will be doing Trader Joe's as we said earlier, so stay tuned for that, you guys. But that's it from us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, choose your day.